What is up, my MS Gym Nation? Neuro Nerd is back. Um, I know that we had a semester off. Spring semester got a little bit thrown off a little bit. I just started my curriculum, and I was super fired up. And then, boom, all of a sudden, we had some craziness happen in the world. But we're back. And I'm super excited for a fall semester. Uh, we're coming back with myself, Coach T, and also the Kinetic Kitchen Chef to teach you all about neurology, all about movement, and all about how to put together a movement plan that's going to help you counteract all this shenanigans that happens with your MS, all right? So we are super excited, and I'm ready to get started teaching. So what we're going to be talking about today is what is called our thoracic spine. The thoracic spine is your mid-back right here. It goes from the bottom of your neck at C7, that little bumpy dump up there, and it goes all the way down to about T12, which is the bottom of your rib cage, okay? So if you go like this and you twist, that's kind of where you feel that twisting happening. That is where your thoracic spine is. So let me show you on a diagram here. This is your thoracic spine. Now, a lot of times in MS circles and PT circles, the, the, the thoracic spine is not that focused on because everybody's so focused on legs and feet and all that kind of stuff. But holy camoly, look at this thoracic spine right here. Out of 24 vertebrae, seven in the neck, five in the lumbar, and 12 in the middle of the spine, their thoracic spine makes up 50%, 50% of your spine, all right? And these, these joints in here are super duper important because they are the bridge between your upper body and your lower body, all right? So let me show you some cool neurology here. So if you look at this, right here is your neck, and then in here is what's called your brachial plexus. There's a big bunch of nerves in there, which actually helps your arms and your upper body work. Now, you can see that these nerves are all tied in all the way down the spinal cord, and then they break down here in your booty wooty, in your glutes, and this turns into what is called your lumbosacral plexus, and that's where all those nerves feed down into your legs. Kind of a big deal, okay? And what happens is that these uh, this thoracic nerves in here not only are the bridge between your upper body plexus and your lower body plexus, but look at all these nerves in here. What do those go to? These little riblets, all right? I love me some ribs. Barbecue all day long, right? These go and they innervate your ribs. They also are part of innervating your diaphragm, which is super important for breathing, okay? So the thoracic spine is super duper important. And when we get lesions that affect thoracic spine, the bridge between upper body and lower body can be very affected and things like breathing and your internal organs like your heart and your lungs and your stomach and all that kind of stuff can be super duper affected, okay? So when we talk about the thoracic muscles right here, I want you to look at how these muscles look and look at the fiber direction, okay? So these are your lats and they go all the way across your body. If you look, the fiber direction for the glutes and the fiber direction for the lats are right in line. If you look at this glute and you look at more of the, the deep layers of muscles, that's called your posterior serratus, that is also in line with your glutes there. And guess where all of them crisscross applesauce? Right up in your thoracic spine. So right at this T12L1 uh, junction, okay? And why is that important, okay? Why that's important is something we've talked about before called your back force transmission line. Okay, so when you take a step down here and that foot hits the ground, it goes up the calf, upside the backside of your leg, into your glutey booty, and then right across what's called your thoracolumbar fascia. Did you get the name? Thoraco, all right? Thoraco is your thoracic spine and your lumbar spine. That force is transmitted across up through those lats into that blade to your neck and to your arm. And that's what allows you to walk and transfer force from right side to left side and, and left side to right side. And that can get super duper interrupted when you have a little friend tailing you along called MS. So what does that mean? That means that in a movement training plan, like we see in the MS gym, we work on thoracic movement. We work on upper body, lower body combinations 
because if I don't know if you guys know this or not, and this is super duper cool, this shoulder and this hip work together. This shoulder and this hip work together, just like I showed you in that back force transmission line. And here's the super cool part. You have crisscross applesauce patterns all over your body. So you can see here that this hip, this purple, lines up with that purple there. So this blade and this butt work together, right? The thoracic spine right there in black works with your lumbar spine. Your neck works with your pelvis, your jaw with your cossacks, your knee to your opposite elbow, your ankle to your opposite wrist, and your little tootsie toesies up to your spirit fingers up on the opposite hand. So when we develop movement plans in the MS gym, Coach T and I, and then we give them to the chef to create these awesome, uh, extravagant movement recipes, we think about anatomy, we think about neurology, we think about the, mu the muscles, we think about function. And the goal is to make that entire movement system better from your brain to all those muscles in that transmission force line to work around your MS damage that may have been affected by lesions up in your neck or in your thoracic spine, okay? So we've thought about it. This is what we neuro nerds do. This is what we neuroplastic nerdos do to help you out is help those movement systems, those kinetic systems work better and help those maps coordinate with your little brainy up here, those, those maps from your brain to those movement systems so that you can work around MS. So when you look at the programs um, on whatever social media platform you're watching, if you get into the MS gym, you will see that it's not just one body part. If you have foot drop, we don't just work on your foot. We work on your foot and the opposite side hand. If you have a circumduction gait on your left hip, we don't just work on the left hip. We work on the left hip and the right shoulder. And we also work on what's called midline stability, which I've talked about before with the mesencephalon, and that's going to help forces transmit from one side of your body down the other side of your body. So you need an active thoracic spine so that you can bend, you can rotate, and you can extend and flex, which is what this entire series is all about coming up. So watch out in your social media platforms and everything else that you're watching because we're going to have some awesome exercises come up. We're going to teach Coach T is going to teach you them one at a time and then we're going to give it to the chef. He's going to put it together in the kinetic kitchen and boom, shaka laka laka, we're going to put it together and have an awesome movement party for you. So I hope this helped you out. I hope you have a better appreciation for your friend, the thoracic spine. It starts with the letter T and we all love Coach T. So practice it, move it, pay attention when these exercises come out and start getting your spine better. All right, I'm signing off, you guys. This is going to be an exciting semester, Jimmer. So let's do this thing. Boom, let's go, MS Gym Nation.